Hello, welcome to our tutorial series on the voltage regulators. And we have seen a lot many modules before this about what the voltage regulator is, how it functions, and there are different types of voltage regulators. We also understood and analyzed the critical terms such as load current, output voltage range, dropout voltage, pass transistor, etc. Now in this module, I'm going to introduce to you a concept of fixed regulators or fixed voltage regulators. So basically there are two types of regulators. One is a fixed voltage regulator that will give you a constant one value of a voltage for your desired requirement. Another type is called as variable voltage regulator or adjustable voltage regulator. So as the name suggests, in adjustable voltage regulators, we can have different values of the voltages in one circuit. We can adjust the value that we want. Now, in the, on your screen, we are talking about fixed regulators. So usually these types of regulator comes in these kinds of packages. So they are usually three pin terminals. One is called input, one is output, and uh, one is the ground pin. So there are these three pins. So this is also called as three terminal linear regulators. They are used to generate fixed voltages and they can generate positive voltages or negative voltages, plus or minus. So the typical values of these regulators in the market that is available are 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 6 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, etc. And with their peak performance, they are able to deliver a load current up to 1.5 amperes. So if you want a voltage regulator in this particular range, you can choose for that. That is the linear voltage regulators. So whenever you will see uh, IC and on the body of this IC, if the number printed is 78XX, where XX are the two digits, that uh, specifies the voltage it will offer at the output. For example, 7, 8 XX series, they are called as positive voltage regulators. Positive voltage, they generate positive voltages. And if you see like 7, 8 and the next two digit 0, 5, it means this IC is able to generate 0, 5 volt, 5 volt at the output. If you see 7, 8, 1, 2, so 1, 2 stands for it will generate 12 volts at the outputs. And because it is 7, 8, it is a positive voltage regulator. Similarly, there is IC series 7, 9 access. 7, 9 will make you understand that it is used to generate and regulate the negative voltages. And the series has these ICs such as 05, 7905, 7912. So 05 signifies it will regulate minus five voltage at the output, 7912, it means it will regulate negative 12 volts at the output. So this diagram schematic connection shows the the way IC can be connected. For example, the three pins of the IC is one, two, and the three pin. You can see that one is the input, one is the output, and one is the ground. And this is for the 7805 IC. So it is going to provide us constant five volt at the output terminal with respect to ground right here and uh, you see that this is an input of the circuit that is basically the unregulated supply or basically an ac waveform for example the diode is going to rectify that make it converted into a half wave rectification for example then you have a filtering capacitor that will smooth out the voltage at this node and what you have here is the uh, some alternating or the DC voltage with some ripples, okay? 
Now the 7805 will start its operation from this end and it will complete that operation up to the output. For example, it will take that unregulated voltage and convert it to the constant 5 volt output. And these capacitors basically they are used to provide the stability in the circuit. Okay, so we'll see next uh, about the linear regulators. So for now, you uh, have an access and information about what the fixed regulator is uh, and what are the ICs and packages available. And the numbers printed on the body of these devices helps you understand whether it is a positive or negative voltage regulators and in what ranges they come. So if you want a very low voltage regulator, for example, below 3.3 volt, then you have to go for different kind of regulators. Or if you want to have a regulator with 15, more than 15 volt or more than capacity to deliver more than 1.5 amperes, you have to choose different types of regulator that we'll see in future. So hope you like this video. Till then, stay tuned.